हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विजय शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजिस गवर्नमेंट महिला इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज अजमेर इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल ब्रीफ यू अबाउट लेजर एंड इट्स सम ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बिफोर टू स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक लेट अस सी व्हाट आर द मेन कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर i will let you know about what is light however you have already know a lot about the light we will just uh, discuss a brief about the light thereafter we will find out and we will see what is laser what are the distinction among ordinary light versus laser light and what is the characteristics of lasers so we have to start with first what is light in general light is a kind of radiant energy it emits from self luminous sources as you know that natural light comes from sun however artificial light can be produced due to high temperature of source in case of lamp bulb etc due to electric discharges in gases for example mercury lamp sodium lamp etc in terms of physics when we have to know what is light it is a kind of radiant energy this light gives response to human eyes our eyes are sensitive to light in the broad electromagnetic spectrum the light which corresponds to wavelength 4000 angstrom to 7800 angstrom give response to our eyes and this lies in visible spectrum of reason that contains violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red color it's characterized by its wavelength as well as intensity the wavelength is defined the distance between any two point on a wave those are in same phase that means the wavelength can be defined as the separation between two consecutive graphs or it may be the separation between two troughs those are consecutive the another term which is characterized for light is its intensity this intensity is a function of amplitude of wave as i already told you human eye sees anything because either the object is emitting em waves that is the object is self illuminated object or the object is reflecting light incident on it coming from over it by any other source it is also said in the said terms that light itself is it not visible but it makes other object visible and we can see the object only when light is reflecting and coming in the vision of eyes if the light passes the object then we will not be able to see the object thus the process of seeing is a dialogue between the object and observer sustained through electromagnetic waves so the important thing here is source is essential for observing to observe anything we need a source now we have to come what is laser in general it is an optical amplifier and the abbreviation for laser is like l stands for light a 
stands for amplification s stands for stimulated e emission and r stands for radiation so laser can be described as light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation the theoretical background of laser action is the basis for an optical amplifier and it is given by einstein in 1917 he gives and illustrated the new irradiative process that is called stimulated emission it is also said that the laser does essentially is to give us electronic type control and it is a marriage of optics and electronics noted by ash pounds who is a nobel prize winner in 1964 now let us see how the ordinary light is distinct from laser light ordinary light is made up of many colors that means many wavelength and it is not focused as well as it is not coherent as i have already told you previously that ordinary light which makes sense to our eyes contains wavelength between 4000 angstrom to 7800 angstrom lies for violet to red color so we have to say that ordinary light is made up of many colors in the screen you can observe that the ordinary light bulb gives rising light in forward direction and this light contains all colors those i already explained v i b g y o r that means violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red you can also observe from the screen that this light is not focused perhaps this light is propagating in all forward direction it is also observed from this that all these light waves are not coherent in nature soon we will discuss about the coherent properties of the light now i will show you in a very different manner how ordinary light is distinct with the laser light you can see in this figure that the lights are having all seven colors all color wavelengths that is light having not a single wavelength that means light is not monochromatic however laser light is highly monochromatic we will see it in next slide you can also observe here that these vertical line shoted in, uh, shows in black dotted if you observe it clearly you will found that the peaks of the waves are not aligned that means all these waves are not in phase a light source is said to be incoherent if the phase is not constant with respect to time for a light source to be coherent the phases among the waves should be constant with respect to time it can also be observed that these light waves are propagating not in a single direction they all are propagating in different different direction so it is said that this light is not focus now i will brief some of the characteristics of lasers laser is highly monochromatic highly directional extremely intense highly coherent and highly focused light i will describe one by one each monochromaticity means that light which consists of a single wavelength in general 
the light source those are having a single color are said to be monochromatic source of light i hope you have seen the sodium light source in your physics lab in dark room which is yellow in color however it should be pointed that the sodium light is also not an ideal source of monochromatic light since that contains two very narrow wavelengths first one 5890 angstrom another one 5896 angstrom however the difference in wavelength is of order of 6 angstrom which is a very small magnitude it is said that the sodium light is a monochromatic source of light the light which is extremely pure and consists of a very narrow spectral range is called laser directional directional means the beam of light is well collimated that means all light waves are traveling parallel to each other over a long distance with very little spread in case of ordinary light if i have to take an ordinary source and uh, on it the light waves those are coming out from ordinary source spread in all direction however in case of laser they are spread in a very little span in means of intensity laser light is 10 times more intense than that of ordinary light here n is the number of atoms taking part in transition which is very large current as i already told you current means that all the light waves those are individual waves of lights are movingly precisely together through time and space that is they are always in phase with respect to time as well as space that means they are highly temporal as well as spatial coherence which is one of the most important features of laser focusability is also used to find out the spot size laser light is focused to a very small spot size each of the characteristic of laser light reduces the size of the focused spots now you can find out here how laser propagates in this special diagram you can find out if you will compare this uh, screen with the previously shown screen you will found that all the lights are in same color that is having same wavelength that is one color one wavelength they are considered to be highly monochromatic they all are in phase this time that means they are highly coherent you will found that at any of the moment of time as well as space the points on all the waves are in phase similarly you can also found that all the waves are propagating in same direction that means they all are focused they are traveling with a very uh, with a uh, infinite decimal span so this is all about the laser thank you for watching the video for any other information please write me at vijay sharma at the gwca.ac.in